Naturally, Joe B. Hall feels a sense of pride as he looks at the NCAA championship trophy he won as head coach. But his most vivid memory comes from the first time he wore a UK jersey in front of a crowd of Wildcat fans. When I went on the floor, my first time as a player in the old alumni gym, and the band was playing on on U of K, and I came out of the tunnel onto the floor with Kentucky written across my chest, the hair stood up on the back of my neck. And they, there couldn't have been a bigger thrill in your life. Today's players get their first taste of that feeling at Big Blue Madness, an event so popular fans camp out to line up to score tickets to attend. For Coach Hall, who started Madness back in 1982, it's a sight to behold. What it's grown into is what amazes me. As he walks through Memorial Coliseum, memories of planning the very first version of Big Blue Madness come flooding back. The NCAA said you could start practice October 15. So that meant at 12.01 a.m. you were legal to practice. All we did was put notices in the dormitories and the classrooms that we were going to have an open practice for the students. Hall says students filled this coliseum. I think we drew about 8,500. We were amazed. We had nothing in the paper about it. It wasn't public. And uh, it was solely with the idea of the students coming over and meeting the players. Their team. We had a few things that we did uh, for the students. I remember. One time we put numbers under chairs and, and when they looked at their seat, they got a number that gave them a prize. We put a hundred one dollar bills out on the floor and, and drew uh, students out of the crowd and gave them, one, the first one had one minute to pick up all the one dollar bill. And of course, it wasn't, it wasn't much. But it was a stimulation for our players. And to kick off the season and the first practice with that kind of exhibition uh, just proved to be really a lot of fun. A simple idea that's now a tradition for the Big Blue Nation. It wasn't anything uh, intelligent on my part. It was simply to have a practice for the student body. I think uh, the word spread from then on, it became a regular thing that people looked forward to and we drew bigger and bigger crowds. When the NCAA moved the time up when you could begin practice, then you could do it at a decent hour. And it's become more innovative and uh, we tried to outdo the year before and it kept growing and it kept being more theatrical, and now they fill Rupp Arena. Now that Hall gets to be a fan, he's looking forward to watching this year's team. I was a fan before I was a coach, and now I'm back a fan again. I'm excited about this year, as I am every year, but this one is with a little more expectation due to the great talent they Coach Calipari and his staff have recruited. This is uh, a group of young men that I have witnessed that are giving a great effort and they understand the importance of the University of Kentucky and its great tradition. Tradition that wouldn't be what it is today without Coach Hall. For UK Now, I'm Amy Jones-Timoney.